hard, right? I mean, right, growing up as a young black boy, maybe now is totally different than Absolutely. however many years we want to put on your life when you were growing up and and how hard it was. And like what you say, like the start of like shame and embarrassment and that, but not really having a place where you can talk about it and then getting messages about toughening up. And I, I know you like in, in just the amazing way that you carry yourself. That takes a lot of strength. And like, where did that strength come from to deal with and handle some of that? Um, I believe it was divinely given. Mm. You know, no one taught me uh, to be resilient. Um, no one taught me how to put on a mask. No one taught me um, how to uh, master rooms that I walked into so that, you know, at least you're laughing with me versus laughing at me. So how do I control this room so you're laughing with me instead of at me? All those skills I kind of self-taught myself. Mm -hmm. And so I believe they were divine. Um, you know, I also played church when I was a kid, but didn't come from a religious family. I would bribe my friends uh, with snacks to come in the yard. And I would, you know, I was one of the first ones to do the crate challenge. I would set up crates in my yard and set them up as a pulpit and just stand up on it and like preach and read, you know, Genesis. I don't know where that came from. I didn't come from a religious family. So, I mean, I didn't know that, right? So your family was not religious at not all? Not heathens. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go to church. I don't even remember what we did on Sundays. I think we just played. Um, you know, I started going to church as a teenager um, uh, at a, like 12 or 13. And over the years, my parents got tired of dropping me off. So they would send my sisters and then they eventually came and then other family members started coming. But we weren't religious at all. So I know it was a divine just connection to my destiny that I had the strength, I had this resilience, but I also had the urge to connect with something much deeper than myself. And I always tell this joke. I mean, I know some of us look like monkeys, but I don't think we came from monkeys. So I, I would... I would just sit and look up at the sky like, Lord, why are we here? Where do we come from? What is this life all about? Why am I gay? Why am I black? Why am I being teased? I had all of these questions at a very young age, um, uh, but all, all self. No one, no one taught me, nor was anyone interested in answering any of those questions. <laughs> you know, and, and some of this we'll probably get into more, but I, especially as we go further in your journey, but I, like these have been strong identities for you right in terms of your faith in terms of sexuality in terms of race right and and how that has been important to you and even so much more where you've combined them together to tell your story but it, but it sounds like some of this was developed in a really early age you know i thought maybe that happened later on post college but it sounds like you were dealing with this stuff from single digits to early double digits yeah i i fashioned myself a revolutionary at a very early age. I was always the one standing up for justice, standing up for what's right. I was the teacher's pet. I was one of those safeties that wore like the orange badge with the uh, uh, hall monitor field on it. I was a hall monitor. Um, I, you know, and, and I know a lot of the pursuit of doing right was to try to mask uh, being teased for being uh, feminine and, and, and gay. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the journey for a lot of people in the LGBTQ community. We pursue um, achievements to mask, um, you know, well, I might be gay, but I got all A's. Mm -hmm. I might be gay, but Face everybody, up. right. What, what can you say? I'm doing better than you. Right. And so I pursued a lot of those things. Um, uh, but it, 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 it was always in me to just stand up for what was right, um, to stand on the side of right. Although I was bullied and really didn't do anything to defend myself, I stepped in for people who were bullied because mm. it really didn't bother me. And, and Dr. James, crazily enough, in my little head, whether it was arrogant or not, I would always say, yeah, you're teasing me now, but I'm going to do way better than you in life. I promise you that. <laughs> and long and behold, no, no, just kidding. No, 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 um, <laughs> I mean, look, I hear that because, like, uh, my secret thing that I would say, all right, you just wait. Like, it's going to happen. You don't know, but 